A lullaby? I don't like this. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything for my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade what but I can do so much more. A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon to split the skulls of your enemies and bring me gifts so we can get down and dirty. I'll show you what real smut feels like. <laughs> Why should I bring you gifts? Girls like being pampered. Because the repair vendor needs resources to break them down and produce items. Luckily for us, it's not very picky. Although, some upgrades may call for unique components. <sighs> I take it the facility is full of all kinds of junk. It is indeed, Comrade Major. I'll keep an eye out, then. I can't wait for your strong hands to grope my interface with lustful abandon. That's it. We're done here. Let's go. Fading data. Damn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. Working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. Ugh. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. <laughs> but take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. 
more subtlety from a professional such as yourself. Sometimes you just need to go in guns blazing. This was one of those times. So you're telling me a handful of traders somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union? Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traders introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. the key. We can access the circuit breaker now. Yep. But I'm just gonna have a look around first. I need some parts to upgrade my weapon. I won't get far with this pile of shit. I wouldn't dream of stopping you. Smart move, Charles. Smart move. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Ahem. This is a passive security system with a laser reader. seen stuff like this plenty of times. You need a color code. Unfortunately, we don't have any codes. You'll have to try to decipher it using... Logic. Seriously? Like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own.
try to match the colors of the laser beams with the colors of the lights. That should help. Yeah, the power's on. Let's head back. Well, which one? I suggest the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. I've marked another waypoint for ease of navigation. How dense do you think I am? I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. How much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt the folks here are going to want anything to do with it. Appropriating or handing that equipment over to third parties constitutes a crime against the party and is punishable by law. you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable. All over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very... Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it.
Remember that all experimental results are the physical and or intellectual properties of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I supposed to restart the line there should be a control panel near where's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock ah uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code somebody's got to move anything uh what was that Need to find the schematic. Station Master. What a joke. Need to find the schematic. Fuck me. That schematic. Need a schematic. Unfeed. Help. Unfeed. The duper. We're now witnessing. Well, shit. That's schematic. The schematic. The station monster has been. Everybody here is up. This time. The world's first autonomous. Got it. I'll look for. Maybe I should have said. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. But talking corpses, that's a new... There it is. Charles, so this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Well, I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Welcome, passengers. 
collecting data. Sorry, no ticket. Access granted. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code name. find a way to move forward. But frankly, I'm having trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not some city wuss riding a desk. I've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Lexus Major. You bet. Couldn't survive it. Charles, that was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes for them in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system.
Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of Facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Hey, this is my stop. What a nice trip. Wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. You see one? That means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. I need to go through a laser wall, preferably alive. What a silly idea. Give me laser protection. Oh, so brutal. I'm shaking. Squirt your... All right, I get it. You'll get your polymer and your precious components. Just install the laser... Your defense system is active. Try to run through the laser wall. <laughs> After that creepy shit, I'd be willing to run through any wall. a punch. I almost bought the farm there. Are you okay? Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a Burav. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him go. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. Hands up! Victor? 
What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell Victor. are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations, and that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemy. Victor, save yourself! Chelemy. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. Lockdown in progress. Lockdown in progress. Robots around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. Petrov ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. This door cannot be opened without a candle. I'll find another one. There's got to be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. What's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But what? I cannot ascertain. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessary. But the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Petrov's doing. Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on that cases, metallic or otherwise.
That sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Fading data. Access granted. Access granted. like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. have here. The loot. I've got one. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences 
has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine, after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. That bad shit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves. And the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. <clears throat> Where the hell is it? I've got another one. Uh, done. I think it worked. 